Hey, what's going on? My name is Eric Worrell, and in this video, we are going to be doing a review of Scribd. If you're not familiar, it is Scribd, not Scribd, which I thought it was originally. Uh, this is a service where you can read an unlimited number of books, audiobooks, magazines, and more. And we're going to discuss what more means exactly, because sometimes you see these marketing messages and they don't actually mean anything, but it does with Scribd. And what I'm going to do is sign in and show you exactly how this service works. So we are signed in now, and the cool thing about this service is, if you're not familiar, is it's like the Netflix of reading. So you have audiobooks, regular eBooks, and lots of documents that you can access, and it's an unlimited amount. So if you want a fire hose of information, you can do that. Uh, you can see some titles that I've saved of books that I've been checking out, um, How to Stop Worrying and Start Living. Thank you, Dale Carnegie. Uh, but one of the things I want to point out as you're going through this is the fact that there are things called snapshots. So why don't we take a look at this snapshot right here. So this particular book, which is a pretty lengthy book because I did actually get it on um, Audible, uh, which is another conversation, uh, but it's 17 minutes uh, if you are reading or listening. So if you want to start reading, here's what it looks like, introduction, and then it's got uh, 14 pages and you can see that you can read through a summary of this book relatively quickly. So that's a really neat way to consume a book very quickly. And then when you start listening, they've actually recorded their own audio. Let's see if you can hear this. Welcome to the Snapshot of Sapiens by Yuval Noah Harari. Evolution and the Scientific Revolution. So they have different voice actors who read these books to you, and I found them to be pretty easy to watch. And one of the nice things, too, is if you want, you can really speed it up and you can uh, put your playback speed up 1.2, 1.5%. So a lot of the major book titles that you'll see in Scribd, they have snapshots. So you can read them uh, faster and listen to them faster if you're just kind of looking for a general overview. And uh, another thing that I wanted to bring up is the fact that uh, they do have uh, magazines and documents on here. So magazines, as you would you know, think right here, you got Bloomberg, Foreign Policy, Mother Jones, New York Magazine, lots of magazines that you can check out. Uh, but what I think is really interesting are the fact that you can look at documents. So uh, what you can do in here is there's business templates, academic papers, all sorts of things that you can do. So I've done this uh, before as a, an example on this service, but if you wanted to search for something like build a deck, right? Something pretty specific. Uh, you can find documents in here on that because somebody has uploaded it. The reason for that is this is an open source uh, service right here. So you can see where it's uploaded. David Soames, Shisky, you know, probably some fake names here. Uh, but you can look in here and see how to build a deck. And somebody has uploaded a document with helpful information on this, uh, on specifically what to do. So that's pretty cool that they've made it an open source service like this where you can do that. Uh, another really neat thing is if you're into music is you can look at sheet music. I wish I could. I am like very, very, very not much musically inclined. And I'm very not good with the English as well. Uh, but uh, it's kind of neat. So let it go from Frozen, from the piano guys and you can start reading and you can go through it as you are playing the piano. So that's kind of a neat little extra add-on that they have uh, available for you right here. So a cool feature with Scribd is that you can download an audiobook or a book that you're reading as well. So uh, a lot of times you're gonna probably be reading and listening on your phone. So what I've done here is I'm actually showing you how you would do that uh, because you're not gonna download it for your desktop because you're not gonna sit there and you know bring your desktop around with you. So I'm clicking on the master key system, which was recommended by Terry Crews to read. I watched an interview with him. Seemed pretty like a pretty cool dude. I wanted to check it out. So you can click those three dots in the upper right hand corner, and then you can click that that little download button. So you'll see it now downloading. And now when you are listening to this audiobook, it is from your downloaded audiobook that you did on Wi-Fi. So you don't have to stream data while you're using, you know, Scribd in your car, or maybe you're out for a jog or something like that. Uh, that's a really nice feature that you can uh, use to uh, limit the amount of data that you have to use with this service. One of the few criticisms that I do hear about Scribd sometimes is that the best sellers are not always on here uh, as they release. I mean, you can get an idea right here of some of the best sellers that it's uh, featuring right now. Uh, for me personally, I'm not usually uh, going after whatever the latest release is best sellers for certain authors. I feel like there's so much content, so much helpful information out there that uh, there's always something to look at. So that's not a concern for me. But if you're really somebody who keeps up on reading and you want to read it as soon as that book releases, maybe it doesn't make sense for you in that capacity. 
One of the things I want to highlight is reading for free. Uh, I do have a link in the description of this video that will give you 30 days free of Scribd to try out. Uh, they will uh, start charging you $8.99 as of making this video once your 30 day subscription runs out. So it's kind of like having another Netflix bill almost, but a little bit cheaper and uh, you're reading instead of watching so much TV, right? So uh, if you use my link, I will make a small commission, less than eight bucks. Uh, but I appreciate it if you check that out and use my link, it's still free to you. So that's cool. So here you can kind of see how much of these different books I've actually listened to and consumed. So you can see the titles you saved. And as you go down, uh, you can see that some of these I haven't listened to and some of them I have uh, listened to all of it. In my opinion, this is why you want to do a streaming service because you might start listening to uh, two minutes of a book and it loses your interest. Or in this case, I, I may actually finish this book, but I uh, did lose my interest a little bit. Or you get into a book that's really great. Uh, the last thing I wanted to leave you with in this particular video uh, is a book that I have found to be fantastic. So. Uh, the first thing I'll mention on this is this is kind of cool where we got a pop-up here that said we've moved to where you were listening to on your iPhone. So you can toggle back and forth between your iPhone and desktop at work or home. So it will be able to keep track of where you are in the book. Uh, but this has probably been one of the best books that I have listened to in the last 10 years. Uh, it's called 10% Happier, How I Tamed the Voice in My Head, Reduced Stress Without Losing My Edge and Found Self-Help That Actually Works. So Dan Harris is a news anchor and uh, he is is, uh, on the uh, national scale. He was on Good Morning America, I believe. And what happened to him is he did a lot of uh, correspondence over uh, in Iraq and uh, in the Middle East, and he had a meltdown on live air. So they went back to him and this guy who has been absolutely on it. Like he is just somebody who is hustling all the time. And he had this meltdown and realized that he just, you know, wasn't being able to sustain what he thought he could. What he found was that a topic that a lot of people lose interest in or gloss over as soon as you start talking about it is meditation. So he kind of demystifies it, makes it kind of a fun read as far as talking about what it's done for him in his life. Uh, but he does it without, you know, coming off like some like floating Buddha or something like that. He just really talks about it in frank language and makes fun of it. Uh, but at the same time, it's really easy to listen to. And I really enjoyed his candor and humor throughout the stories. And I related to it a lot. Uh, I'm one of those people too, that you think you're going to lose your edge or something like that if you're not constantly on. And this book is really telling you to do the opposite, to be able to slow down, to have some self-awareness and work on your mental health. And by taking that time to yourself, it actually does make you more productive, happier, and just feeling better in general. So if you do want to check out your first free book on Scribd, I would highly recommend 10% Happier by Dan Harris. And again, I have a link for you in the description below that'll get you 30 free days. The same to you if you're to sign up on your own, but I think I'll make like five bucks or something like that, which helps support me and my YouTube channel. So I really appreciate it. And if you have a favorite book that you've read recently, please uh, feel free to comment below. I love to hear it. And uh, I love learning from other people and your experiences as well. All right. Thanks for watching and take care.